my name's Emily and I'm here at the National Marine Aquarium where we're about to do this week's toddler craft session. This week we're going to be making one of these super fun snappy little sharks so you can use it as a bit of a musical instrument and have lots and lots of fun at home with them and they're really easy to make um, you've probably got all of the materials already at home so we just need a piece of card um, a pencil some scissors some glue um, or sellotape um, a coloring pen and then you just need two bottle lids so it can be from any bottles um, but you could also use if you've got some spare contact lens pots hanging around at home those guys could be used as well so the first thing we need to do is just make the shape of our shark so i've drawn on this paper just the outline of what a shark would look like from above so i'm just going to cut those out quickly and um, when you do all the cutting out make sure you get an adult to help you and be really really careful Okay, so now we have got the outline of our shark. So I've made two pieces that are roughly the same sort of size um, because one of them is going to be the top of our shark and one of them is going to be the bottom. So we need to make that really flappy mouth. So all we need to do is take one of them and just fold it in half so its nose meets its tail. So just fold it back like that. And then we just need to attach them together. So we want to stick the tails together, but not the mouth. So that's the bit that's going to open and close and make that really cool noise. So I'm just going to glue the tails on top of each other. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the outline of our shark, um, but it doesn't really look like a shark yet. It's got some things missing. Um, needs a fin on its back, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna cut out the shape of a fin from this piece of card. And if you fold the bottom of it over, you can use that to glue it on the back. So we want to glue it to the back of the shark's head there, so to the back of that flappy bit. So there we go. Um, it's still missing a few features, I think. I think our shark needs some eyes and maybe some gills so it can breathe. So let's just draw those on. There we go. Um, and there's one more thing that our sharks need so that they can grab all of their food swimming around in the water. So lots of the sharks that we've got here, they've got some really, really pointy teeth. So let's draw some pointy teeth on as well. So you could, if you wanted to, cut out some pointy teeth out of some shiny paper, maybe. Um, and I'm just going to colour in a bit of a tongue. Okay, so we've got our shark, and now we need to make it nice and snappy. So we need to make sure it can make lots and lots of noise, and that's where our bottle lids come in. So all we need to do is stick one bottle lid to the bottom of its mouth, and one to the top of its mouth, so that when it closes its mouth together, um, it makes lots and lots of noise. So I'm just going to glue those on now. Okay, and there we have it. You've got your very own clappy little snappy shark ready for hours and hours of fun at home. And feel free to decorate your shark however you want, maybe some snazzy stripes or some spots like our zebra sharks that live in here. Uh, but whatever you want to do to make your shark look fabulous. watching this week's toddler crafts please don't forget to post your crafts below we love seeing what you guys are getting up to and don't forget to tune in next week